Welcome to Frankie Lovato's 365 Days of Racing Terminology. This series is for you, the fans, and in support of Jockey World's mission to improve, promote, and provide more education, health, and safety into the world of horse racing. This is Frankie Lovato with today's term, number 220 of 365, Past Performances. The Past Performances, also known as the PPs for short, offers almost a complete bio of each horse in a race. The past performances will offer many things, such as the horse's pedigree, age, where they were bred, the owner, trainer and jockey, along with their stats, recent workouts, and more. Then, all the data collected and listed from the horse's previous races they had run in. All this information is listed in code, symbols, and abbreviations in one straight line per race. As an example, here is an official track program and past performances provided by Equibase. This one line of data offers all the information I mentioned above. Starting from left and reading to the right, first is the day, month, and year of the horse's last race. Then the race number and track it was run at. Then you have the track condition. FT, in this case, means the track was labeled fast. Next is the surface the race was run on. In this case, the diamond with the capital letter A means it was an all-weather synthetic surface. Then the distance of the race, this was 7 furlongs. The next number to that is 34, which is how many feet the starting gate was placed before the 7 furlong marker. After that, the fractions or splits of the lead horse in the race. Here showing the time of the first quarter, then the half, then the final time of the race. The number 3 with the arrow facing up means this race was for 3 year olds and up. The F inside the square means it was a race for fillies. The CLM stands for claiming race. This was a 7500 claiming race, non-winners of two lifetime. The number 50 is the Equibase speed figure. The 10 is the post position the horse broke from. The 4 is the order in which the horse broke out of the gates. Then the numbers after this are the margins of distance where the horse was from the leader during certain points of the race. The margins are in various measurements of lengths, such as one length, three quarters of a length, half a length, necks, heads, and noses. Then the jockey is listed who rode the horse in this race along with the weight that was carried. Next, if permitted at that racetrack, are the race day medications. B stands for Butte, L stands for Lasix. Next to that, if there are any special equipment that horse wore, such as blinkers, this will be listed. This particular horse was not wearing any special equipment. Then are the defined odds. This horse went off at 17 to 1. After this, the first three finishers from that horse's past race are listed. If the name of any of these horses are in bold, it means that that horse is back in this race. If the horse's name is in italic, that means the horse went on to win their next race. Finally, there is a comment made from an observation of each horse, offering an expert opinion and synopsis of this horse's race. All this information is gathered for each horse in race to assist the horse players in picking their next winner. Today's clip is brought to you by Summit Thoroughbreds. Summit Thoroughbreds, a unique blend of racing professionals that have come together to form the Summit team. Their mission is to pursue and provide excellence through thoroughbred partnerships while enjoying the thrills of watching horses grow, develop, and race. To learn more about Summit Thoroughbreds, visit summittb.com today. For more information, or if you'd like to sponsor some of our terminology clips, please email info at jockeyworld.org. You may also be interested in Frankie Lovato's racing terminology booklet, which is for sale in the Jockey World store and available at jockeyworld.org. All proceeds go to Jockey World, a 501c3 nonprofit organization.